Welcome to the Automate Introduction to Bitcoin Stamps, also known as the SRC20 Standard Protocol on Bitcoin. So this protocol came about or it was created by a guy called Mike in Space on Twitter. And it came as a response to Bitcoin's core community hating on BRC20 tokens and threatening to actually prune them out of the system to basically remove them because they were created in a way that they can actually be pruned to make them more efficient and to not clog the Bitcoin network. So when I talk about BRC20, I'm referring to uh, everything around the Bitcoin frogs and all the NFTs that have been popular on Bitcoin, but also the tokens like Ordi and several others. So the history of Bitcoin, of Bitcoin stamps, uh, basically explained well in this video that Mike in space himself, the creator of SRC20, explained. So let's watch it and then I will come back to show you guys how to go about it, where to buy, where to sell them, and where uh, where do actually uh, where are the indexers to find the data related to SRC20. So let's go. Um, the way we're doing it is slightly different. Um, with ordinals, they did it in a very responsible way. They, they put it in this witness data so that no one would get upset about it. And what happened? Well, everyone got upset about it and they want to get rid of the inscriptions because it's terrible. And Luke is already like putting together a filter and they're going to discard all this <laughs> stuff because they, they made it too easy for the core devs. It's, it's right there in the witness data and you can just prune that away. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I was thinking, it's like, what if we do it like the worst way possible? <laughs> what if we store it in the UTXO set? Because every node needs a copy of the UTXO set. You can't mm -hmm. prune that away. <laughs> and everyone said, no, that's a terrible idea. You're going to blow up the U UTXO set. And I'm like, watch me. So <laughs> that's what we did. That is actually, and, that is actually the, the worst. I maintain a lot of nodes. It's, and, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ruining Bitcoin. Um, so, and the great thing about it, unlike ordinals, ordinals is like, it's taproot, it's segwit, it's all this new stuff. With stamps, we're polluting the UTXO set on pre-segwit nodes, post-segwit nodes, prune nodes, full nodes. They're all getting this toxic waste. That's how I'm storing <laughs> these stamps. And uh, yeah, so basically the whole uh, point of stamps is that they're immutable, they're unprunable. If you want to do it the responsible way, you can do it the ordinals way and Luke is going to just wipe them all out, right? But stamps are going to be there forever. So to recap this, the, the most important point is what I say that the last point of it is he said that if you keep doing it the safe way, the Bitcoin ordinals and BRC20 style, Luke, who is the developer, who is the leader of the headers of ordinals, is going to just prune it all away. So there is the threat that the Bitcoin developers could actually clean out of BRC20 ordinals because they don't like them. A lot of the Bitcoin maxis believe that this is very destructive to the ecosystem. Bitcoin was created for money to transfer value, not monkey JPEGs. At least that is the narrative. So I think the, the, the stamps are a threat to to sort of say, look, if you continue with that, we are, we're going to do it in the worst way possible where you can't even remove it. You can't prune it from the blockchain. So the SRC20 ecosystem was born. There's a website here. It's called uh, Bitcoin st uh, stampchain.io is the website where you can actually find these things. You can mint. You can also explore what's going on onto the network. Just like you could mint on BRC20 using Unisat, you can also do it here using Stamp Chain. And then there is OpenStamp, which is the marketplace that allows you to buy and sell these collections right now. So there, the S SRC20 is the token standard and stamps are the NFTs of the stamps ecosystem. SRC20s, the first token to come out was Kevin. But it seems like people are preferring more stamp as the, um, it's becoming more popular as the standard token of the stamp ecosystem, right? So if you want to mint, you simply go here on stampchain.io. 
the wallet that is recommended um, that I've seen it work effectively for this has been the Hyro wallet, which used to be, now it's now called Leather wallet. This one works really effectively. And also if you're trying to mint, it actually recommends that you use their, their own wallet that they created. There is a stamp wallet somewhere. I think I have it also here. Yeah, stamp wallet. Stamp wallet is also recommended because um, most wallets haven't updated their code to support SRC20. So you see that you might buy or mint some SRC20s, but you might not be able to see them in the, um, you might not be able to see them in your wallet. Okay, so let's say I want to buy some SRC20s. There is a good guide here on OpenStamp, like I said, uh, they have, uh, they have a do documents assigned where you can learn about it. But I can simply just go to OpenStamp and go to SRC20. If I want to mint, of course, I can also mint here. But if you just go to Marketplace, this is where you can find stuff. So let's say I want to buy some Kevin. I'll click on it. And I'll start to see the listings of how much people are listing to sell. Right. So just like we, we were looking at Unisat Marketplace, you cannot buy as an order book system like you're buying from Binance. It's still in bulk at the moment because the market is still developing. So I will look for someone who has listed a small amount that I can afford to buy that I want. I want to spend like $500 on it. So I will look and look and look and see. Oh, I'll just, okay, I can't even filter this thing. So you can tell that this stuff is too early because it's still broken. You can't really do much at the moment at all. So yeah, I will buy this. Uh, the price is 0. 0.0. Uh, the price is still fair, and there is 125 sats to uh, to pay. But then I will get 9,800 Kevin tokens. So I'll buy this. I clearly understand the risk. Buy Kevin. Okay, this didn't work for some reason. I don't know if my wallet is connected yet. I failed to submit. It might be that this has already been purchased. So if that happens, you always have to try another one. If this doesn't work, I will just try. Yeah, this one might work. You can see a pop-up. Go ahead. And then you just have to wait it out. And once that's done, it will be able to show up in your wallet. If you cannot see it yet, okay, now I have to choose the fees. Okay, I'll go for the highest fees. There's not that much different anyway. So I'm paying $20 to, for Bitcoin fees. So that's basically it. You can tell here that I have purchased. You might not see it in your leather wallet and that is because it's not supporting stamps yet. So you can check them out by going here in the open stamp and clicking on assets. You'll be able to see. So here you can see I have stamp 10,000 tokens. The Kevin, I just made an order, but I haven't received the tokens yet. So I have to wait still. All right. I hope that helps you guys. And thank you for watching this will more likely going to be listed first on Magic Eden because Magic Eden just followed Kevin. And also, if you want exchanges that will be listing this, I recommend signing up on BitGet and also Get.io. Use our links in the description below to make sure. And if you don't want to miss out on everything new, like trading, new tokens, private sales, like anything to maximize your success in cryptocurrency in general. I recommend you join our alpha group. The link is also in the description below, or you can directly go to cryptouniversity.network. Then you'll find the alpha group there, join, and you'll be able to hang out with us every day, scrambling the internet to find new opportunities. All right, guys, stay awesome.